guys, welcome to tonight's running lesson. I just wanted to tell you a couple of things before we go. Um, one, Sophie's riding tonight. I just basically ask her, are you riding tonight? And she tells me yes or no. She's like me, she doesn't like to ride unless conditions are good. <laughs> like warm. And then number two, um, we are gonna start taking Storm back to riding lessons. But again, we're waiting for it to get a little bit warm. It was really cold today, but we let the babies out and the mom is out for a little while in the afternoon, at least when the sun is out. But I'm coming to bring them in now. Look at our little group of babies and mamas. And because they've had to stay in a little bit more, this little mama finally got a little bit of chub on her. Before I let everybody in, I wanted to show you the hay that Sam got. Do you guys remember? I showed you in a video that our barn had this crazy green hay. So that's the regular hay. This is this crazy green hay. So Sam went to pick up hay the other day and he asked him about it and said like, is that second cut hay? And he said, yes. And Sam said, that'd be perfect for our goats. And the guy said he could buy it. It costs $2 more a bale than regular hay, but that's fine. $2 extra a bale is not that much. It was like 20 bucks for that extra. It was like a, an extra 20 bucks for that whole pile. But the goats love it. And what I wanted to say that's weird is that in Canada, we feed our horses first cut hay because our hay is so rich. Um, so we only give first cut hay to our horses is a little less rich, which is weird because I know my friend that's in the States and they're in a really dry climate though, like they hardly get rain and they feed their horses second, third, fourth, seven cut hay even. So it's just bizarre how like climate affects your hay and what you feed and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that second um, cut hay is perfect for the goats and they are obsessed with it. All right, let's see if I can do this myself. Get ready. Now it's just a matter of catching the babies. Get there, stay, get in there. Whoop. Apparently I forgot to lock a door earlier. Come on. Now that you have sweaters on, I can catch you. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> All they want to do is have fun. getting ready so I said I'd come down and do the goats because she came down at noon to let them out and it is a job holy moly I just have to wait a few minutes for little Miss Porky to eat she is getting super pregnant now I love it she has about maybe seven weeks left she got I think six weeks left before she's due I definitely think she's gonna have twins because she's already getting chubby Let's just count and make sure everybody's got what they need. I think there's two boys in here. They're hiding. They're sleeping. They're trying to get warm. We have two babies in here. Look at that green hay. See his? See how he's he's shedding? I just wait. I want to show them your shedding. 
All right, let's see. See how there he's shedding? That's that stuff at the close to his body is called cashmere. All goats have cashmere, but if you really wanted to like breed for cashmere, you would breed goats that are cashmere goats. But every one of them has cashmere. It keeps them warm, close to their body in winter time. Let's go, little Miss Slowpoke. We got places to go and people to see. Rosie is actually a really sweet, quiet goat. She's quiet like her mom. Her mom is quiet. But she's actually so, so sweet. Yeah, it's you. You're so sweet. Like, she's just a gentle goat. So she doesn't like the rough housing, and she doesn't like any kind of pushing, being pushy by the other goats. She's just sweet. And she's a slow eater. All right, where are your three babies? I don't trust myself. I have to count them. One, two, three. And one adorable boy right there. All right, bye guys. Anyway, I was trying to tell you guys, she's gained a little bit of weight. The um, nursing, she was young when she got pregnant and the nursing really took a lot out of her, but she's gaining weight now. Let's go to riding. And let's see who everybody's gonna ride today. All right, so trying to find my family. I'm just chatting it up. Oh, Kate's in here helping Gabby. It's been a long time since I videoed the two of you together. It's been a long time since I've had time to just chit chat. Yeah, so you got here and early? A curry comb? Yeah. All right, so there was some drama today in today's lesson. Kate pushed Gabby into a huge mud puddle. Uh, I saw it happen. So I pulled her towards me onto the layout so she would and then she just crashes into you. Poof! I watched the whole thing. Gabby goes sinking down her kneecaps in a mud puddle. So yeah, that happened. This, yeah. Oh my gosh, your good boots. The story is. The story is. If they were good boots, they wouldn't be at the barn right now. Oh, she only wears good boots. She doesn't have any kind of thought process about not wearing. I have one pair of good shoes, and I wear them to school, and that's it because. You're smart. I don't want them muddy and I gotta sit in them all day. Yeah. I have two pairs of running shoes. That's it. Well, um, the story when we came in was that Gabby tried to save Kate and fell in the mud puddle. But I saw it, you guys. All right, so horse of the day, Mr. Hops. At seven, is it 7 p.m.? It's 6 p.m. All right, we're ready. We're ready to roll. We got gorgeous looking Stevie. Wow, that is a nice looking horse. We got hops. He didn't really want to come in today. <laughs> Do not fall off. All right, we got Gabby on Mr. Hops. I'm not used to having two kids in, in lessons anymore. I can't believe the men literally go into the hot room every single day.
Look, I saved your spot. Perfect. <laughs> Sit really close. Okay, they're doing rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Now they're arguing about who's gonna do go first. Good, Scarlett, hands in front. Close your fingers. Rock, paper, scissors. I know, I'm cold too. Watch out, Brandon. I'm a mess, she says. Sometimes you just gotta be a mess. Excited, she says. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? 